G'day guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Cody here again. Today, I'm just at home. Today, I'm just focusing on getting some work done, just reaching my goals. This morning, I've just been dedicating an hour or so to organize my goals and just revise them, just making sure that I'm on track and that the actions that I've been taking so far in the past couple of weeks are going to guarantee me to my future goal. And I realized I was not quite getting there or I was not quite on track for the weekly performances. So what I've done is just gone through some action steps that I want to take and that I have to take on a daily basis. So daily goals that if I do every day consistently should eventually get me to my goal. And there's some other goals that I'm working on. So if I do those on a daily basis, I will hopefully and eventually reach my goal that I have. At the moment, I'm working on getting the listings done of the items that I showed you guys in yesterday's haul video. If you wanna check out that video, it'll be linked up there. Just listing the Emaru Kuji style sweater, then the Mambo loud shirt as well. Also these G-Star raw jeans, brand new with tags. Fred Perry cardigan as well. Some really sweet clothing items. And also these Under Armour basketball shoes as well. Just working on getting these listed, doing the measurements. I've already got the photos taken, but I'm just putting them up for sale at the moment. So I'm working on getting some sold listings out, but before I do that, I just sold another item. It's a bike, and they're coming to pick it up within 45 minutes. They pay by PayPal and on eBay. It's a really old bike that I've just had laying at the back here that I haven't used, and I, to be honest, I think I picked this up on the hard rubbish because we have hard rubbish here seasonally. And it was basically for free, so people just got rid of it. They, they were getting rid of the bike and had it sitting on the side of the road. And I picked it up. It's this one right here. It's a giant boulder. It's a really old bike. It's basically in a parts-only condition. I mean, it still kind of works and everything, but it's just a little rusted in areas and stuff. To be honest, it's rideable. If I pumped up the tires and put the chain on it, it probably is rideable. It's not bike touring worthy, but it's still worth about 30 bucks. But yeah, it's not bad for free. Sold it for $30 on eBay. With the 15% fees, I guess it works out to be about like $4 or something off that. So it's like 25 to 26 bucks in my pocket. Not bad for free, I suppose. And the customer's coming within 45 minutes to pick it up. So what I'm gonna do is just pump the tires up and put the chain back on it and then it should be good to go. I love that sound. In the meantime though, I'm gonna get some housework done. The house is pretty messy, <laughs> don't look. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time to get the house clean, do some vacuuming the dishes, get the washing all folded up and washing done and all that sort of stuff. Just been working on some of the housework and considering I just closed the $30 deal, let's get the stuff out that needs to get out today. First up we have this North Face long sleeve button front, Fisherman's Adventurer shirt, bicycle touring shirt, which is probably what I was going to use it for, however I did sell it. I sold that for $19. Can't remember how much I paid for it, it was something. Next up we have a pair of Converse high tops, size US 10 men's. Sold these for $25, and I did thrift these for maybe like 5 bucks. plus I got a year's worth of wear out of them as well. Then I sold this book for 25 bucks. Statistics for the Behavioral Science. I did buy this to sell on Amazon, however the Amazon price tanked, and it wasn't worth it for me to send it into Amazon with the really expensive shipping prices. So I ended up selling it on eBay for 25 bucks. Then we sold these Brooks GTS 15 running shoes. Really comfortable shoes. I would have kept them if they were probably like a US 10. They were US 9. Sold for 40 bucks. Paid 10. So that's not too bad. I was hoping to get a bit more for these. Maybe $65. I got an offer for 40. So I just took it. I'm still making profit. First Etsy sale going out today is this vintage denim jacket. With like some stars on the buttons there. I don't know what brand it is, the brand is unbranded, it's an unknown brand, size 12, sold for 35 bucks on Etsy. 
I am also shipping out these Nike Air Maxes in the size US 13s for 45 bucks these sold for and I'm also sending out this DVD High School Musical 3 that sold for $7.50 free shipping so that's like five bucks profit after everything's all said and done I'm just heading down the back here in the rain because I do have some items that are for sale down here just like the bike I just sold before what I sold was this thing, a Nissan Skyline R34 headlight. So to tell you the story about this, this was not actually thrifted. This was an item that I got replaced on one of my old cars. So I used to own a Nissan Skyline, the R34 Skyline. It had a body kit and it had rims and it was pretty souped up. So I have a photo of it on the screen if you're interested to check it out and see what it looked like. But it was my pride and joy there for a year or so. To be honest, I want to make a video in future talking about how I picked this car up because I picked it up for about $4,000 and I ended up selling it for almost 10 grand. I made quite a lot of money on that car. But anyway, that's for a future video. Right now, I'm going to ship out this headlight. It sold for like 40 bucks or something like that, maybe 50 bucks, 40 or $50. So I'm sending this one out to Queensland. I'm just bubble wrapping this like no tomorrow just to ensure that it doesn't break because I don't want it to break. It's glass, so it's most likely to do so and then once i've done that i'm just going to put it in the box and get it out just driving to the post office and have this amazing rainbow view right here check it out it's sick also beside me is the parcel for the headlights and that's the size of the box i put it in fairly big looking but I wrapped it in so much bubble wrap that hopefully it doesn't smash. I'm heading down to meet up with my mum in the next town. She brought some stuff for dinner. She brought some meat and veggies. So I'm just meeting up with her to get that stuff off her and then take it back home. And then I'm gonna get dinner started. 